Jarrett. Today I've decided that it's time to try and tidy up a part of the garage um, because as, as you'd have seen from the um, messy workshop video that it's a bit too messy. So this is what I'm going to be amending. Um, I'm going to add in a couple more shelves which will hopefully help to hold other large items I've got. Um, it's going to be a shelf going in just above this one and then again just below so that's what I'm going to be doing and I've got some scrap wood that I'm going to cut down on the table saw first Okay, so um, that's the first shelf constructed. Um, bit of a patchwork on the plywood um, because I don't really have that much of it. And I put a little support underneath there for the two bits. Now I have, I haven't got enough plywood left for the second shelf. What I do have is a bit of. MDF which will do one length so I'm glad to come with something different for this one um, I do have other sheet material but they are generally a lot thicker than this which I don't really want to use some of another project as well um, so this might end up being a bit of a patchwork so to use support beams underneath I've got some an old bit of OSB here which I've had for about two years I uh, didn't think I'll ever get to use it but I'm going to use that as a support to put the bits of patches on um, but it won't matter how it looks because as long as it's functional that's the main thing Thank <laughs> you. 
that's it, job done. Um, as you've seen from the last couple of shots, a uh, couple of other extra things have gone into the shelves. It helps tie the garage up a little bit more. I've now got to try and plan what I'm going to do next. What area to tidy up, because I've got a lot of things to do definitely tidying up. If I don't do anything on those lines, I've got another couple of small projects in my mind of what I want to do. And if you want to see what my workshop was like and why I need to tidy it up, there's a link in the top corner. And thanks for watching. See you next time.